Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the building separation joint. It is also called as the seismic separation joint. Seismic separation joint because this joint is provided between the two or buildings for the earthquake. To avoid the earthquake damage, we provide the joint between these two buildings and this joint is known as the building separation joint or the seismic separation joint. So to explain this joint, let's consider uh, the two buildings. Let's suppose uh, this is the first building constructed, uh, maybe of any frame structure of different numbers of floors. And these are the columns, right? And uh, there is some another building we built. We want to build some another building. Let's suppose this is another building. So what this building separation joint says are this seismic separation joint. It states that according to the standards, uh, the, uh, the distance between the two buildings, like if this is the first, if this is my first building and this is my second building, so the distance between the two buildings should have some distance. And this separate joint, and this is this distance between the two buildings is known as the building separation joint or the seismic separation joint. It's called seismic because they are mainly provided to avoid the earthquake damage of the two buildings. So this distance should minimum of represented by delta and this distance should be minimum of 60 millimeter according to the standards, 60 millimeter. And we should must provide this distance between the uh, two buildings. Now, if the buildings are of higher, of higher stories means if there is a more uh, high rise building, so what we should do, we should increase this distance but this is the least value, which is 60 millimeter. If our number of stories are increases uh, up to the, from certain limit, then we should increase this distance between the two uh, between the two buildings. And this distance is, should must be provided because during the earthquake, uh, this building will will collide will sway like in this way, this way. It will move from this direction to this and this into this. So what happens? It will strike this building. If there was no if there was no joint so if, like, for example if this is my first building and this is my second building and let's suppose there was no joint right so what happens during the earthquake this building will hit it will move like in this way to in frame motion so during the earthquake it might hit this building and might collapse this building right so this building has been affected due to this one so that's why we provide some distance between the two buildings which is known as the building separation joint or the seismic separation joint so that uh, the damages from the earthquake should not uh, be uh, too much uh, we avoid the damages from the earthquake so that's why we provide the building separation joint so this was the uh, simple topic about the building separation joint hope you understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily seven engineering videos Thank you for watching my video.